Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video today. Hopefully you guys are all having an amazing day. Today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about a whole bunch of G Fuel news that has been released and all this stuff going on right now. Uh, just so much stuff that I wanted to cover and talk to you guys about that I didn't really think it was worth making individual videos for. So I'm just going to have it all in this video. So if you guys wanted to get updated with everything going on, make sure to watch this video. First off, just wanted to say a huge shout out to everybody that has been using code chalk recently. I'll put up all those images up on the screen right now. If you guys would like to be featured in one of my videos, uh, all you have to do is if you do use my code, uh, code chalk for 30% off on G Fuel, go ahead and tweet me a photo of it on Twitter. My Twitter link will be down below and I will uh, feature you in one of my videos as long as you tweet me uh, of you using code chalk. So continuing with the talking about people using code shock, there have been a lot of people using code shock on this brand new uh, fall flash sale that is going on right now. You might be like, okay, whatever, but this sale is actually cheaper than a G Fuel BOGO. Yes, you heard me right. This sale is cheaper than a G Fuel BOGO. So basically, tubs are $17.49, collector's boxes are about 20 bucks, and uh, hydration tubs are only $13. That is if you add it to the cart and you use uh, a code like Code Chalk for 30% off, it'll bring the price all the way that freaking low. This is definitely uh, one of the biggest sales, if not the biggest of all time sales that G Fuel has ever had. It is very close to a BOGO sale, but slightly better. I mean, like, I think if I do the math, it's like 40 cents better, better than a BOGO. So, but the cool thing is you can use a code to support somebody here. So if you guys have a favorite creator that you like, PewDiePie or something, and you want to support them, and you usually only pick up on BOGO, this is the time to do it. So I definitely recommend you guys pick up something on the G Fuel website. I will leave a link to the flash sale down below in the description. Oh, I saw some of you guys on Twitter asking me, Shock, what tubs should I pick up in the sale? Well, out of the tubs that are on sale, I'd recommend Phase X, Doozy Fruit, Hype Sauce, and Wumpa Fruit, and Peach Rings. Out of the hydration tubs that are on sale, I would recommend uh, Divine Peach, MFAM Punch, and to be honest, I think that's about it, MFAM Punch and Divine Peach for the hydration tubs. For the collector's boxes, definitely gonna recommend that Watermelon Limeade, definitely gonna recommend Doozy Fruit, and I would also highly recommend Electric Strike. That's one of my new favorite flavors recently is uh, Watermelon Lemonade, which is Electric Strike. And for the hydration boxes, I would recommend the Lightning Lemonade. Now, next up, let's go ahead and talk about this new G Fuel flavor that is going to be revealed on the 26th. Now, I don't know if it's going to be coming out or be a pre-order. Uh, because he said 3 p.m. Eastern time on gfuel.com on the 26th, I'm guessing it's going to actually come out on that date. So it looks like Glad is going to be getting a G Fuel flavor. So he's been partnering with G Fuel for a very, very long time. I'm pretty sure he is a Twitch streamer. If you guys have any guesses what the flavor is going to be, uh, make sure to drop a comment. I have no idea what this is going to be, but definitely let me know. Drop a comment, guys, uh, what you think this flavor is going to be. I obviously will have a video on it uh, when it does get revealed. And I think if it does come out on the 26th, Code Shock should be 30% off for it. Now, some other news that I want to talk to you guys about is this new Halloween shaker that looks absolutely epic. It is the Halloween Doodles uh, uh, shaker. It also comes with like this wrap around Halloween themed almost wristband. It's really interesting. I've never seen G Fuel do anything like this. Uh, it's going to be coming out very soon. I'll leave the, the link down below if you guys want to sign up to pick it up pretty soon. But yeah, that shaker looks awesome. I'm very excited to get it. We've never had a shaker uh, that has that band on it before. Now, another shaker that I've seen that G Fuel's been teasing that looks pretty cool. I don't usually talk about shakers, but these two look pretty cool. Uh, is a tall boy, and it kind of looks like it. It's inspired by those little cups that I used to have when I was a kid and stuff. Um, I'll, I'll put throw up some images up on the screen, but. 
it's definitely a cool shaker and I am very excited to I'm definitely I think I'm gonna pick one up because it matches my colors uh, but overall I like it and it looks like a lot of you guys are liking it judging by the likes and retweets of G Fuel's tweet of it now another thing that I wanted to mention with you guys to remind you is the Dead by Daylight flavor is going to be launching on the 28th uh, so just remember if you guys are looking to pick that up I don't think it's going to last very long. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I think that collector's box is going to go really quick. So if you guys do want the Dead by Daylight caramel apple flavor, uh, make sure to definitely pick it up on launch day. I think my code will be 30% off for it, but I'm not sure. Uh, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. Also, the Halloween shaker, it's actually coming out on October 3rd, just to let you know. And then we also have the Nuka-Cola box that's launching on the 5th of October. And only crayons sold out, but it will be restocking soon. Now, one other uh, bit of news that I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video is actually the new Orange Vibe G Fuel can. So, unfortunately, uh, if you guys did not know, KSI, I think he has left G Fuel. And that means G, G Fuel had to do a reskin of Orange Vibe. I mean, Orange Vibe does so well. It's such a good flavor and it definitely deserves to stick around. So it looks like G Fuel has reskinned it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the old one and the new one. I just wanna give a huge thank you to Mason Pierce on Twitter for sending this out to me. He was the one that actually sent it out. So huge thank you, fam. I really do appreciate it when you guys help me get some uh, exclusives or new things that I'm just not around yet. For example, this was only found at Sheets uh, on the northeast of the USA. Uh, so unfortunately, I'm just not near Sheets. I'm like 10 hours away from one. So huge shout out to any of you guys that are near Sheets that always help me out with these new drops. But anyways, here is the old Orange Vibe can right here. Here's the new one. First off, I gotta say, it is amazing. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. They did exactly what I wanted to see. They basically kept the same colors, which is amazing, and the same look but they added some creamsicles to it. They added some oranges and I just think it looks amazing. So once again, we've got the old one and we've got the new one. So they kept the name Orange Vibe, which I think is good. And they kept the colors the same, which I also think is good. So there is the front. Uh, this one obviously did have KSI on it because he was uh, the one who inspired the flavor. Uh, but that's the difference in what it looks like. This one is a 300 milligram uh, caffeine one. If you guys want to take a look at the label, there it is. This one is actually fully printed to can and it has a raised texture to it. Like I can feel this creamsicle with my fingers. I can feel the oranges. It's really, really cool. It's got a awesome raised design. This one is just a uh, label and look at how off that is. Like that is just awful. Look at that. It's like a, a half an inch of gap there. But with the print to cam, look how much better it is. There's a little dent on the cam from shipping, but overall it looks amazing. If you guys want to compare the ingredients, here is the old one. And then here is the new one. They do look about the same. Let's go ahead, crack these babies open and see if I notice a taste difference. All right, here we go. Let's smell the old one. Yep, new one. What? Wait, what? Okay. What? No way they changed it. No way. They smell extremely different. This one has a much stronger smell and much stronger like orange smell, the old one here. Yeah, a very strong orange smell. The new one, I can barely smell the orange. It's maybe more cream smelling. Oh my God, that is weird. All right, guys, let's try the old orange vibe here. Okay, orange, little bit of cream, vanilla, not too much, but it's definitely there. Let's try the new one. I don't know why they smell different because they definitely taste the same. They smell different, but they taste the same. 
So overall, the taste is the same, but let me know down below which one you guys like better. For me, definitely gotta be the new design. All right, guys, so that should be about it for the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this was helpful. And yet again, if you guys do pick up any of those flavors uh, with Code Shock, make sure to let me know and tweet me at and uh, get featured in the video. So thank you guys for being here. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.